there isn't a subject I prefer um, above others, but I generally prefer scientific subjects to humanities subjects. So, biology, chemistry, physics, math. The only humanities subject I enjoy is economics, because but economics is basically uh, it's more scientific than, for example, history and languages. So that that's why I prefer it to other ones. But yeah, oh, it's time for me to go farm, grind for like twenty minutes or so. Here in the mines, there is an early farming spot money farming spot on the bridge and that is where I'm going to grind is it here no it's not here there is a bridge like this where there are tons of skeletons and skeletons drop an item that can be sold for 190 and there are a lot of them, lots of them, so you can keep chaining them to increase your drop rate. Okay, this item, I think dark, no, is it dark, the dark stone? And is anyone at 30? Yes. Oh, we can choose the job for all my characters, I think. We can choose the jobs now. Let's see. Bird, yes, he can. He can as well. She cannot. No, not Belial. Go through gambit slot. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until they all can. Wait. So she already has and she can. So Fran is the only one that cannot get the second job yet. I'm gonna wait. 16 more enemies. 16 more enemies and I'm not gonna do all of them one after the other. So is this the place with all the skeletons? Yeah, my Hey, this looks like it's the place. Hey, farm here. I'm gonna uh, keep farming here until I reach 99 uh, dark stones. Now, time for us to get our jobs, our random jobs. First, I will start with Van. Hey, this time, because there are so many of them, I will skip the click three times. Wait, it's here. See, um, I will skip the click three times. Actually, I will do it now. So as you can see here is the number generator there is from 1 to 12. Okay, first get this. And this is the board. I'm going to choose a random I'm going to generate a random number from 1 to 12 and see what I get. And based on that I will choose the job I will use. Um, okay, first I'm going to generate generate three numbers to see if it's working. 12 seven okay three it's working um now i will stop doing this and i will just generate once for each character to determine their job so first one is van and he his next job is gonna be number two wait isn't he already number two another archer there is my third art my third archer oh <laughs> well Full breaker and archer. Um. Okay. Well, maybe it's an okay combination, but I am tired of getting archers. Seriously, stop. S stop giving me archers. Second one is Valtier, and his job is gonna be number two again. How the? Yeah, I cannot give an give him another archer board. This this does not work. Okay, uh, he's already archer, so two does not work. I cannot give him another archer board. So let's try again with nine. Finally. Oh no, another red battle mage. <laughs> um, this true random number generator is rigged. It's rigged. Cannot work. Uh, there is my third red battle mage. Both here, Archer, Red, Battle, Mage. Then I have. Ah, uh, okay. Next one, Fran. Fran is already Red, Battle, Mage, so she cannot get another Red, Battle, Mage. Her next job will be number. What the fuck? How the fuck does this work? Two again? 
Another archer red battle mage? What? <laughs> this random number generator is rigged. I think it's rigged. <laughs> He's a... <laughs> okay, if he is another archer... I'm gonna kill... Kill the people that made this website. Please, no number two. Okay. <sighs> Three, two, one. Generate. Seven. <gasps> another Hulan. <laughs> okay. Uh, all the numbers being generated are on one line going from Machinist and Archer. So, uh, there is my second Ulan. Red Battle Mage Ulan. Well. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. There is my last job. <laughs> Please be uh, one that is different from the others. I, I'd like to have some more variety. <laughs> Okay, my last job this time, Pinalo, is number five. Oh, finally, someone that is different. Five is Shikari. Finally, I got someone that is different from the others. And she is Ulan plus Shikari. I, daggers? Warriors who fight nimbly across hill and dale. Hmm. Daggers, and this one is spears. Maybe it's a good. Maybe I should start using Penelo just because she's different from all the others. So Penelo, okay, then should I choose my team using this? I think. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with um, someone that is red battle mage. So either Bash, uh, Belthier and Fran, then Full Breaker. And Penalo. Yeah. I guess I will go with Bash. Oh, no, not Bash. Balthier. Oh no, Balthier doesn't have healing. Oh well. Uh, Penalo has healing. So I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with Balthier, Van, and Penalo. Yeah. I think that there is going to be my team, something like that. But yeah, finally I can. I'm gonna delete the true num number generator. It doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. It's rigged. Someone rigged the numbers. I think I have to go back. No, no, no! Don't attack. I think I have to go back to areas, areas before I can start fighting the skeletons again. So here. And back. Yes, skeletons are still here. Oh, another item. Bone frag. Oh wait, bone fragment. Maybe there is the one I can sell, not this dark stone. Maybe bone fragment is the one. It says, as I remember, the higher your chain, the better the drops. I think. The more likely you get drops, and the better they are. Yeah, I don't have anyone that specializes in either one, but I think I can survive. I, I might have problems some, but somewhere, but I think I can survive without having specialized, specialized characters. I like red mages anyway. So what I learned by grinding here is that one, I need more damage to grind faster. And more defense to tank better here because I'm dying while, while grinding. Are they even getting... Okay, let me see. 56. 56 still. Yeah, they're not getting LP, so oh, I have to go back and revive them. Who I said are going to be my party members? Already forgot. Okay, Penelo because she is the only one that is completely different from all the others. Uh, so she gets to stay in my team. He has a four, four breaking thing, so might be useful then. <laughs> all the others are so similar. Not Ash. I don't like my mechanist, machinist plus Archer combination. And well, I don't know. Probably. Red 
Atom Mage Archer. They are exactly the same. Probably friend for now because she has my protect healing and stuff. So okay, there is the one I'm going to use, but I think I'm gonna change to both here because I prefer both here to front. If I could use source, I will uh, farm the Deathbringer probably. I called it necrosis in one of my earlier live stream, in my first live stream, so one of the first videos. Well, that was the name in the Italian version of Final Fantasy XII. What's called necrosis? It's called Deathbringer in this one in the English version. The Deathbringer is very is very strong sword at the beginning of the game and I farmed that when I played on PlayStation 2 years and years ago. But I don't have anyone that can use swords so there is no point in me farming that now. So no strong weapon. Oh yeah one second she is an archer now. I can teach her the archer. What is the weapon? Long bow. Is it long bow? Silver bow, long bow. And I can give her the long bow from from both here. Is it? Yeah. So more damage. Where is it? Yeah, a lot more damage. It's better now. What about her? She should be. She cannot use anything. Dagger. <laughs> nah. No, it's better. I'm gonna farm a bit faster, hopefully. I'm not sure if there is a way to aggro. Maybe with another job, but I don't think he can. My. I don't think my fan can. Wonder if there is a trophy for 99 chain. I haven't checked the trophy list actually. Mm, I don't know if I should. I don't want to focus too much on the trophies on this playthrough. Maybe in the future if I want to play this game again. And maybe when I want to make a proper... I'm gonna choose my job playthrough. And there is... Yeah, I'm basically in MMO farming mode now. Truly the offline MMO experience. Uh, there are a lot of videos already. I I don't make videos if there are other guides about the same thing. For Persona 5, it was different because no one was making videos basically. I, I was among the first one that made videos for stuff. And all the people that were making videos on Persona 5 guides, uh, guides on Persona 5 were doing a different type like Oh the best uh, I don't know This or the best Was it um, Personality things for example The best way to farm your personality uh, traits So there weren't people that for example did videos on mean maxing like me Actually, one person did the same video I did uh, one or two days l after I did that. <laughs> and he kept doing that for like mm, five of my videos. For five of my videos, I, I did video, posted it on YouTube, and then two days after or one day after, he did the same video basically. But... <laughs> <laughs> roll for archers in the room. <laughs> well, I can make a clip of the part where I rolled the the jobs. Farming in four times the speed is so good. Feels so good knowing that I'm farming at four times the speed of when I was doing it ten years ago. Feels like I'm not wasting a lot of my time. Oh yeah, also there is the automatic farming thanks to the Gambit system. That is also another thing I really like about 12. I know um, a, lot of fan a lot of Final Fantasy fans uh, hate the Gambit system on Final Fantasy 12, so that's why they hate Final Fantasy 12. But I really like it. The fact that I can just set up my Gambits and let my characters fight by themselves is something I enjoy. A lot of people don't like change. For me, it's okay. As long as it's good, I do enjoy some change here and there. As long as I can enjoy it and have fun. I still have fun, even if I'm not pressing anything. 
Uh, one genre of games I really like is uh, managing sims, managing simulator. For example, for example, I wasted, wasted. I played Football Manager for like 300 hours on Steam, and I don't even follow football. I am not a football fan. Uh, I don't usually follow football. I don't play FIFA or play, uh, Pro Evolution Soccer. But I really enjoyed playing Football Manager because I enjoyed the mani managing part. Setting up the gambits and seeing my characters fight by themselves feels like a mana managing sim simulator. <laughs> so I can still enjoy it. That was another part I liked in Yakuza 0, actually. The managing your business part. Buy, buy things, see your money grow. Football is basically the only sport that is popular in Italy. All the other sports are way, way less popular than football. I I don't like really follow football, but I know, for example, the Italian teams, and uh, I know, for example, important matches like the finals, the Champions League final, and stuff because everyone talks about them. And I can open my Facebook and watch my Facebook feed, and there will be everyone, every single Italian friend on Facebook, talking about that stuff. Um, but yeah. Currently, I think the only Italian team that performs well uh, in football is like Juventus. At least on an international level. And maybe Naples. Napoli. Oh, Italy in general and the Italian national football team. I follow the Italian national football team sometimes uh, when I was younger. And they, they were probably better years ago. But oh, well, actually, even now they... I think they reached the semi-final uh, of the European tournament. Not as good as maybe 10 years ago when they won the World Championship, the World Cup. Well, there are a lot of people that like Italy. Has he ever been to Italy? I When I went to high school in the UK, when I started in the UK, there were a lot of people that really liked Italy. Uh, or the concept of Italy, because uh, not everyone has been to Italy but I, but I still really like Italian stuff for example Italian bread I know that there are a lot of Italian things that are popular uh, in other countries for example Italian brands like fashion brands then you have wine cheese uh, and other foods other food like pizza and pasta and lasagna and also the art. The art is very popular with tourists and stuff. I don't know. Uh, for me, for someone that has grown up in Italy, sometimes I don't feel the same, the same emotion that people that haven't grown up in Italy feel. I guess it's different growing up in in a country and really liking a country from someone that hasn't lived there because after you grow up here you you grow up in a country I think it becomes more common it becomes a lot more common and everything everything looks the same to you like it's just a normal country like every other one yeah I, well actually it's not even that it's just that as an Italian I don't I don't see Italy as a tourist, uh, a place I will go for tourism. If I if I wanted to be a tourist, I will go to other countries. That's why, that's why probably. I I wouldn't feel the same excitement the one person that is from outside Italy will have when they thought, oh yeah, I can. This time I'm gonna go to Italy for my holidays. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a tourist in Italy and experience all the interesting stuff. For example, if I wanted to visit countries, I would visit, visit, for example, I don't know, Japan. Japan would be an interesting one. Or I've never been to American countries. Somewhere far from Europe. Oh, for example, I don't like uh, going to China. Uh, and I remember an, an episode in my life where I was in middle school. It was right after the holidays, so my teacher was like, oh, what did you do? What interesting things did you do during the holidays? And I was like, eh, nothing. 
nothing interesting it was all boring and she was like oh did you stay in italy and i was like no i've been to china and she was like how can you consider china boring you've been to china i think uh, that your holidays have been boring i was like yeah but <laughs> I don't go I don't go to China as a tourist. I go to China to stay with my grandparents, to visit my grandparents. So it's different. It's if I went if I if I was a tourist and I went to China for example, I will I probably would have enjoyed that. But as someone that has family there and goes there just to stay with his family, the country is meh. I, I don't I don't like going to China that much because when I go to China it's mostly to live there for a few months and I cannot read or sp or write Chinese so I cannot understand anything when I go around I I can watch TV but I wouldn't understand everything I can conversate with people normally but I don't understand everything and it's more difficult on TV because they speak faster or maybe they use terms that you don't usually find in normal conversation one of the few places i've been to in italy as a tourist is rome because rome is six hours of uh, from me from my city i'm in the north and rome is in the center of italy so i've been to rome two times no two three times in my life uh one on a school trip once on a school trip once with my girlfriend and yeah, yeah. I didn't really enjoy that and the problem with going around in Italy is uh, when you go as a tourist to Italy it's mostly art art and museums and stuff and I am not exactly someone that appreciates art I'm not an artistic person I don't appreciate art at least not as uh, as much as other people do for me it's just painting I mean very pretty painting or for example pretty columns I it's just normal columns. I know they are like art is economically helpful because it drives tourism to the country but if it were for me I I wouldn't have that I wouldn't have artistic stuff as enjoyment. Yes <laughs> No, 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 it's not just room. I can go out of my house right now. I can go take a walk, five minutes walk. Well, people, maybe not tourism, but people will consider me a Chinese here in Italy. Uh, there are no people, almost no people in Italy will, who will consider me Italian. Unless, unless they, knew, uh, they know me for years. Like, the only people in Italy that consider me Italian are, for example, schoolmates that knew me for years so they they know that i'm i'm basically culturally uh more italian than chinese well i am a mixture but i i think culturally i gain more things that are italian than chinese and i don't know just students uh classmates and maybe neighbors consider me Italian my teachers didn't consider me Italian for example my teachers consider me Chinese for they always consider me Chinese <laughs> sometimes some random people that know me also consider me Chinese it's fun when they ask me hey do you do you feel nostalgic about your country they ask me <laughs> they ask me things like this and I'm like well I'm still living in my country I, I don't feel nostalgic at all <laughs> um, why would I feel nostalgic about China if I, I if I wasn't born in China and didn't grow up in China? It's not like I can feel nostalgic about that country. Uh, so it's always weird. And I know. Oh, there is uh, something that is very common. There are people ask me where do you come from, and I say I come from this city in Italy. And they're like, no, no, where do you really come from? And I'm like. Well, uh, okay, I come from Ch my parents come from China, but uh, if I if there is w uh, one person in Italy that asks me where do you come from, I already know they expect me to say China. <laughs> they they expect an answer that is not Italy. I know they don't mean anything bad. Uh, I don't think they are racist. For example, not it's not racism. 
just uh, they they don't think I don't know they think uh, I'm just Chinese I'm one of the other Chinese people in Italy Chinese people that came from China but I guess that in the coming years it will become less and less common uh, this stuff because as more and more generations of Chinese people grow up in Italy and more people uh, get exposed to Italian Chinese uh, I guess people will consider Chinese less exotic let's say there are already Chinese people everywhere <laughs> I, I wasn't the only Chinese person in my school here and I well uh, and not con not considering my family obviously I wasn't the only Chinese person here and I live in a town of 10,000 13,000 people 13,000 people that were like in my school there were like two or three other Chinese people so it's fairly common not that common there are more Romanians here uh, Chinese people are not that exotic you will usually find at least one at school and maybe now it's become like one every class or every few classes yeah I get asked often I get asked often where I come from from people that don't know me usually usually it's when they need to break the ice like I know I for example, I go to a new school when I moved from elementary school to middle school. So a lot of people I didn't know, a lot of classmates I didn't know, will ask me where I come from, stuff. And then I'm uh, at that time I think I just say China. It's easier. It's a lot easier. If I it, no, if someone asks me where I come from, I usually say that I'm Chinese or what nationality I am. My nationality is Italian and I have Italian passport, but when people ask me here in Italy, I will usually say China, I think. Because it's e there is no need for explanation. <laughs> it's a lot easier to explain. Hey, I finished farming level 24, so I farmed 8 levels, 8 levels on average, and a lot of LP as you can see almost 800 LP and 20k gil now it was like 40k gil in total 